Hey guys, it's John. Welcome back inside the Vintage Geeks toy room. I got T-Bob. <laughs> you believe it? <laughs> this is awesome. He's so cool. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I have, I've kind of wanted a T-Bob for a long time. He transforms to a scooter that Scott Tracker can ride. Normally T-Bob and Scott would be like this. And he, you just put his legs together at the bottom and they roll around. And his arms come out. They extend out. T-Bob and Scott Tracker. Then you fold them back down like that and there's two little pegs for Scott to stand on and he becomes a little scooter thing for Scott to drive around with. Keep up with his dad, Matt Tracker. <laughs> Mask. Yeah, awesome. But really what we're going to look at today is the Persuader by from the G.I. Joe Real American Hero series. We can look at the instructions, the card, and the vehicle itself with the driver. Backstop. That's cool. And, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty cool. The Persuader was G.I. Joe's laser cannon vehicle. It's like basically like a 10-wheeled tank that has a heat wave 10 megawatt armor-piercing laser cannon on top. That's the big giant thing here. And a small monopulse laser operator, monopulse driver operated laser cannon down below. So for shooting things up close, and then this was for blasting large targets. Had six missiles, three on each side. Three on each side. There are one, two, and three places on each side for Joe's to stand on and, and you know, take go along for the ride. Pretty cool. It's got a neat bumper on the front that sort of flexes. The wheel system is really cool. This thing, it like, you can really flex the wheel so like it has a suspension, you know what I mean? Which is pretty cool in a, in like an 80s vehicle. I think that's a pretty neat idea. The driver here, Backstop. It's got a nice helmet. Comes with a pistol, revolver. Looks pretty cool. Right now, I got crankcase sitting in the in the driver's seat. I guess he's the gunner, the big gunner, and that's the driver's seat. We aren't working the small gun. And right now, I got crankcase in there, running the small gun. Cause I got a. He's got the wrong helmet. I know. Don't go. Don't go screaming at me. But um, I've got an awe striker coming. I actually won an auction, a really good auction, where you're not going to believe this, guys. I've got, I think, about 100 figures coming. Some of them are in pieces, so I'm going to put them all together. And then if, if, every, if all the parts are there and everything works, there's around 100 figures. And one, two, I got the dragonfly. Most it looks like it's mostly complete. The... The snow wolf, the cobra wolf snow thing. The um, awe striker, the dreadnought vehicle, the snow cat, G.I. Joe snow vehicle. Yeah, so I think there's, yeah, the one, two, three, four, five vehicles, and the, you know, the awe striker. So five vehicles and probably around 100 figures no there's the cobra asp also the little cobra gun the cobra it's like a land-based turret gun you know and uh you know kind of like the flat cannon and things like that for gi joe but this is for cobra so yeah there's five vehicles one gun emplacement and almost 100 figures if, if all the pieces are there i'm gonna have to do o-rings and screws and really put the you know sort everything out and put it together but it was a big lot that i won on ebay for really good price compared to if you bought everything individually so that's going to be really fun to do give me a project for a little while 
which I might need a project because I'm staying home. Um, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but yesterday I woke up and felt a little ill. And I think I'm getting, I'm getting to that point, you know. My father, I didn't say anything before, but my father got sick last week. And I th we think he's just getting over it, but he still has a cough. And, um, it's, uh, I like, I, I like looking at instructions. These are really cool, you know? I don't have, I don't think I have these. Are the, I think these are the first instructions I've ever had for a G.I. Joe vehicle. This is cool. But yeah, um, so he made it through it, but unfortunately, I think I caught whatever he had. And now I'm going through it. Oh, there's blueprints on this side. Those are cool. So they correspond with all that stuff. The mono pulse driver operated laser cannon. Slope ballistic deflection shield. Racked impact deflection nose section. Reinforced tubular front push bar. All wheel independent suspension. All terrain 10 wheel drive unit transaxle. High intensity integri integrated xenon <laughs> headlights. Pinpoint reflection acquisition targeter. Overtrack battle transport platform. Heat wave 10 megawatt armor piercing laser cannon. Automatic laser stabilization system. Dart SAM 37 250 pound missiles. Layered composite deflection shaped turret. Turbine engine generator. Yep, okay, the AGT 1200 horsepower. Got it. Rearward facing vertical finned intercooler radiator. All right. Where's that number eight? Pinpoint reflection acquisition targeter. Number eight. Let's look for number eight. Number eight is actually on the gun. It's this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. and number 10, these little coils that are on the side. Let's see. What are those? Oh, that's the, that's just pointing out the heat wave cannon. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I think these are, that's pretty neat. The instructions and the blueprint, that's pretty cool. Backstop driver, name, Robert A11. Military specialty, armor. Secondary specialty, mechanized infantry. Birthplace, Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Backstop injured so many opposing players in junior league hockey that his family had to move to the United States to escape angry parents. <laughs> During his adolescent years in Detroit, he boxed in the Golden Gloves until he was barred from competition. He spent two terms as the undefeated wrestling champion of his high school simply because no one would get on the mat with him. Well, that could mean that he just smells bad. After a short career in the Demolition Derby, Backstop found his true calling in the Army and eventually on the Joe team. Don't mess with Backstop, even though he's had more broken bones, ripped tendons, and severed arteries than anyone else on the Joe team, he's still strong enough and strong-willed enough to break, rip, or sever something of yours. Backstop Persuader Driver. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Awesome. So yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's like I'm. I feel like I'm coming down with something. I don't know. Hopefully, it's not the dreaded disease. But like I said, whatever I got, I got from my dad, and my dad made it through it. He barely had any symptoms. It was just he had a fever for like a day, and then he had coughing and aching feeling for seven, eight days afterwards. And uh, it seems like I've caught the same thing. Right now, I have just a slight fever and a cough every once in a while and just general feel worn down and tired and a little bit achy so you know I think it's going to do the same thing to me and I'm just going to have seven or eight days of feeling kind of bleh but I mean what can you do I'm going to stay indoors if uh, I feel up for it I'm going to keep making videos and um yeah we'll see how it goes and, uh, yeah, I think depending on how I feel, either later today or tomorrow, I'll do the contest video for the giveaway. 
And I think what I'm going to do really simply is just say, if you comment in, on any of the videos between now and... Heck, we'll include the videos that I already made. Maybe we'll include from the one where I first showed the, the winning, the, the possible, the giveaway items there. The, so that that video, and then include any video going all the way till probably April 1st or something. And then we'll do the drawing after that. But I'll, I'll, I'll put up an official video either later today or tomorrow. I got to set up the camera in a spot where I can be on camera and rearrange the desk I work on and stuff. So, you know, it, it's it's not just, it, it, I want to do a good job, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, expect that later today or tomorrow. But I think that's all I'll have you do is anyone who comments on any of the videos gets entered in the contest. And then we'll pick two lucky winners and uh, they'll get some free Transformers or or Kenner Star Wars. Sound good? Yeah, sounds good. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. The G.I. Joe Persuader from the 80s cartoon, A Real American Hero. Have a great day, guys. He looks good in there with my mask, guys. I know that that dude's got the wrong mask on back there, but it's purple and it goes with his suit. My, my, my mask. I gotta get a piranha for him.